tunnel sure makes loud echoes. Like, tell me that's you, Scoob. I don't think it's me either. I know that's not me. Come on! Do we have any rules left? <laughs> Let me check. Oh, hey, found the remote. Oh my god, this thing has been lost for like a million years. What was it half a million? I thought we lost this in the 17th century. Nah, I picked it up just before we left. Victoria! You're right, I should have some here. Oh, hey, it's the newspaper from the 1940s when the boy was flirting. Oh my god, okay, no. He was not flirting with me. He wasn't flirting with me. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Nope. Please stop. Really? Look at this. Guide to hiring women. Choose young married women. They have more of a sense of responsibility. Wow, that's just weird. It's really sexist. Give every woman lots of rest periods throughout the day. You have to make an allowance for female psychology. A girl has more confidence if she and is more efficient if she can keep her hair tidy, apply fresh lipstick, and wash her hands several times a day. <laughs> Boo -hoo. Richard, oh my, what's what's wrong, baby? Do you need a tissue? Do you know how long it's been since I've washed my hands? Oh dear, how long? Three hours! Oh my oh goodness! Oh, you oh. foul thing, wash your hands. I can't go on. Don't use strong language around women, even if the girl's husband or father says it's okay. She'll grow up to dislike a place where she hears too much of this. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, look at this. The Good Wife's Guide. Don't complain if he's home late for dinner, or even if he stays out all night. Count this as minor compared to what he might have gone through throughout the day. Ugh, sexism has decreased a whole lot since the 1940s. It's still relevant though, and prominently affects all women. I got help this time. <laughs> Reporter Jones. And I'm Reporter Hawes. Did you know that a woman makes 77 cents to a dollar a man makes? Did you know that a woman loses 431,000 over her lifetime from lost wages? And women are constantly over-sexualized in the media. For example, when American Apostle was selling unisex t-shirts, this is what they look like on the men models. And this on the female. Our topic today is how modern sexism affects women. Back to you, Angie. I should do my project on modern day sexism. Sure, I'll help you. Wait, but what is modern day sexism? Glad you asked, Reporter Jones. Here are some scenarios. Oh, there you are! Uh, hey, what's up? Hey. Guess what? What? She slept with him. Oh my god, mm -hmm. what a slut! I know, right? Slut is attacking women for the right to say yes. Yo, what's up, man? What's good? What's good? Listen, shut up for a minute. Shut up. So, last night, I was in my bed, you know, doing my thing. And I was like, I was texting this girl, and I was like, hey, you know, Netflix and chill, you know what I mean? She replied, she's like, nah. And I'm like, what? She resisted all this? Really? Like, fine. Yeah. You know, and it was like, oh, okay, I didn't want you. You know what? I just wanted your body, you know? Because that's what I'm going for. That's what I wanted. Oh, hey, my hair look okay. Cool, thanks, man. Thanks. And friend zone is attacking women for the right to say no. But she was like, not nah, I got a boyfriend. I mean, like, 
cool he could have watched like oh god bitch male nerd female hot nerd slim hips are important must be attractive although not attractive she's funny so people like her anyways also rape if a woman is raped she's asked what she was wearing and that is a scandal as well as a sin. Essentially, blaming her. But it used to be worse a couple hundred years ago. But still, in parts of the world, women are still being sold as slaves. They're sold for rice. And they can't leave the house without a man. Women were thought of as property. So how did we change to the more modern view we have now? Let's let Angie and Victoria answer that. So, how did the woman's revolution begin? Well, it started at the beginning of World War II. Women had to take up some jobs to support them and their families. Makes sense. That's around the time the character Rosie was made. She was created to promote jobs to women. Many women started working. After the war ended, women continued to work. But they were considered secondary workers to men, and like jobs were all segregated. Women began campaigning for equal rights. It was the teachers that first began the right for equal pay. Of course there was. No offense, Miss O'Hara. I think we got some pretty good facts down. How long have we been working for? Like three minutes. Dude, a solid three minutes? Oh my god, let's take a break. Okay, more soup! <laughs> Yay! Let's go play video games. Whoa, this looks like such a cool game. Let's play it. Okay. How come all the girl characters are in like broad underwear? God, they're actually wearing armor. The female characters are very over-sexualized in video games. Also, women with Halloween costumes. Okay, we really need to get some stuff done. Okay, so sexism refers to the range of attitudes, beliefs, policies, laws, and behaviors that discriminate on the basis of gender. Yeah, and that results in a system of gender equality. While sexism affects women, it also affects men. For example, men are taught to suppress emotions. So, can we fight sexism? With education. Yeah. People need to know what's sexist, you know, like what's acceptable. No one is born sexist. Everyone is equal, and women deserve to be treated with respect, deserve equal rights, pay, and to not be underestimated. We did have rules. And I'm going. While sexism mostly affects women, 